We're at war with the most dangerous enemy that has ever faced mankind in his long climb from the swamp to the stars. And it's been said if we lose that war, and in so doing lose this way of freedom of ours, history will record with the greatest astonishment that those who had the most to lose did the least to prevent its happening. To vote is the purest form of representation. I believe that. We must all be concerned about protecting our right to vote because it is fundamental. The way that we live, the way that we actually exist here has a lot to do, has much to do with our fundamental right to vote. You know, a lot of elections are decided by one vote. We are finding over and over again that voter fraud is the canary in the coal mine to break down, to corruption, to lawlessness on a broader scale. Politica is a sp Spanish uh, slang word for uh, basically a person who goes out there and they're getting paid to bring, bring in the vote. There is a difference between a political consultant and a what we have termed now as politiqueras or politi politiqueros. A political consultant, of course, is going to go and talk about the imaging and maybe the message that you want to have. And th that's different than a woman at a pantry center going, giving pantry to individuals, to persons, and insinuating that if they don't vote in a particular way, or if they don't go the politiqueras way, that they're not going to get pantry anymore. Most persons who want to run, their first hurdle is, well, how do you fight and the established network of people, politiqueras, who sort of have a certain number of voters in the bag, as it were. All throughout the, the valley, for example, there are politiqueras that are collecting absentee ballots throughout the Rio Grande Valley. And there's nothing per se illegal about that. What is illegal is when they do not give the voter the choice as to whom they want to vote for. A kid called me out of the blue, never met him before, never knew who he was. He says, hey, would you like to pick up, I think it was 500 or 1,000 votes. Uh, I can deliver them to you. So he came over and sat down in, in, our, in my conference room with me, and, he, and actually after he, he explained what he was going to do, I mean, it was fraud beyond a shadow of a doubt. He was going to bring me mail-in ballots already signed. All we had to do was check off who we were voting for. The majority of people that are at the polls are paid. In this case where, where we turned up, it was cocaine that was being offered to certain individual to vote a certain way. A normal person in this county cannot win a fair election. And due to the simple reason, there's uh, pay the right people in this county and, and you got a guaranteed win, basically. I, you know, many people had to die throughout our country's existence to protect, first to obtain the right to vote, and then to protect it. In the Valley, I mean, they joke about it, that uh, we demand crooked politicians. We demand it. We're finding records all over the country, all over the country, where people are marking the box, no, I'm not a citizen of the United States, and they're still getting registered to vote. They're telling the election officials, I am not a citizen and they're getting on the voter rolls and they're voting. The broken down administration plus mail ballots equals thousands of ballots going out that can be picked up and voted by somebody else. Even if they mail this ballot off, there's a signature verification committee over here on the, on the, on the backside that is checking to see whether or not these signatures are in fact the same and they are at the complete and total discretion of the Signature Verification Committee. And so now you have to ask yourself, well, who's naming these persons? This wasn't invented uh, overnight. This is not, you know, some, a creation of Stark County. It's, a, it's, a, it's an existence for, for years in other parts of the country. The best and worst in people is only one generation away. If we don't teach 
the, the ones coming in behind us. If we don't teach them, we can't expect it to be right. A lot of blood has been spilled for this so that it can be hijacked by some politiquera who's doing this for money is completely disgusting. And it should be disgusting to all Americans. And this idea that government is beholden to the people, that it has no other source of power except the sovereign people, is still the newest and the most unique idea in all the long history of man's relation to man. <laughs>